just want to remind you today that as a woman of color, there is a very negative um, story being told about our pregnancies and our births. And so I want to remind you that you get to write your own story. You get to write your story of your pregnancy and your birth. Your birth and your pregnancy, how that experience is for you, is not determined by anyone's data and statistics and so-called facts. Facts are changed every day, all day long. So, um, yeah, don't buy into that and know that the statistics and facts as they quote-unquote stand that are very disproportionate and give a very negative outcome and experience for women of color is based on a model of birth that was not made with your interest in mind. And that's just how it is. You know, the technomedical model of birth was not designed with you in mind. It was designed from the idea of making money off of women's births. It was never designed to put you in power, to put you in your seat. It was designed to make money, and that's exactly what it's been doing. But what has been the cost? The cost has been women's lives. The cost has been our children's lives. And women of color have sacrificed their lives and the lives of their children at a disproportionate rate to their white counterparts. And so you have to break out of their story. You have to start creating your own story and know the power is within you to create your own birth experience, create your own pregnancy experience, and to lay a new pathway, to create new, lay new pipes start telling another story. So I just want to remind you that stories are important. They're important, they're important, they're important. And um, some African traditions, we call them an oriki. An oriki is your story. It is the story of you. It is the story that you clo hold close to your heart. So change your oriki. You know, their oriki is not your oriki, right? So change your birth story and you change the culture. All right, love you.